Hi, I'm Lincoln Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Kaviris This Week. And this week we're at the galleries, a brand new exhibit. Kasha's going to tell you all about that. A lot of great information on the show as well. If you miss any of the contact info, just all you got to do is go to kaviriscounty.us slash on CTW. Info's right there. CTW visits the newest exhibition at the galleries on paper. This is an exhibition celebrating paper, including prints, books, and sculptures, all of which explore and manipulate the materiality of paper. Open now through July 26th, On Paper features 10 artists that show the wonders of paper. A variety of public events are planned around the exhibition. Art Lab is specifically tailored to the homeschool community and is Wednesday, June 12th, 10 a.m. Kids ages 7 and older will view the exhibition and then create their own art. The cost is $5. A family day is planned for Saturday, June 22nd from 1 to 4 p.m. with creation stations spread throughout the galleries. Family day is a free event. The Cabarrus Arts Council curates four galleries on the first floor of the 1876 historic Cabarrus County Courthouse, located at 65 Union Street South in Concord. They are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Admission and activities are free. For more information on On Paper through July 26, visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org or call 704-920-2787. Now the 2019 summer reading program is ready to blast off. Okay, now this out of this world theme continues throughout the summer with fun events and entertaining shows for free. Now the program opens on June the 14th. Now the summer reading program is open to all county residents. Just pick up that reading log at any branch of the library after June 14th. You can qualify for a prize by just logging hours spent reading or you know they have all kinds of fun events that are related to reading that you can do. So for more information about the summer reading program, visit cabarriscounty.us slash library or call 704-920-2050. Fill your summer evening with some competitive fun at the Ooh. Cabarrus County Senior Center Concord. Registration is now open for Twilight Leagues. You can compete in bocce, cornhole, or shuffleboard on Mondays beginning July 8th at 5.30 p.m. The cost to play is $5 and you must register by June 27th. For more information on Twilight Leagues, Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, call 704-920-3484. That's kind of a cooler time to do sports, right? You know? So, become part of the budget conversation as the county's budget office breaks down the proposed FY20 general fund budget during Government 101. FY20 budget breakdown. Now on Friday, June the 14th from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. that happens at the Cabarrus County Governmental Center. Now I don't expect a lecture because you know it's been designed for kind of interactive so that you can get involved in panels and activities and demonstrations kind of guide you through what the county does with physical plan for the upcoming year. You find your seat at the table because this unprecedented event takes place before the Board of Commissioners votes on the budget. So you might have a little input there. So for more information on Government 101 FY20 budget breakdown, visit CabarrasCounty.us or just call 704-920-2336. And David, the Board of Commissioners just held mm -hmm. three budget workshops. Oh, yes. They've talked about what they want to include and things they want to shuffle around. It does include a two cent tax increase on the current rate of right. 72 cents. So the, again, the proposed budget includes a two cent tax increase. So if you'd like to learn more about that, more oh, yes. about what it's going to fund and how things are allocated, please come to Budget 101. Yeah. We welcome you and we guarantee you're going to learn a lot and have a chance to put in some input as well with a board member. Yeah. Solve family boredom with a night of board games. Game On! King of Tokyo is Wednesday, June 12th, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the library. Each month, the library plays a different board game. June's game is King of Tokyo, which is a game for two to six players mm. in which you're able to play mutant monsters, gigantic robots, mm. and other aliens, all of whom are happily whacking each other in a joyous atmosphere in order to become the one and only King of Tokyo. King of Tokyo. <laughs> For more information on Game On, Wednesday, June 12th, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the library, visit cabarriscounty.us events or call 704-920-2080.
The Sunier Gardens will overflow with cucumbers. Now you learn how to pickle those cubes during the home pickling workshop on Monday, July 1st, 1230 to 430 p.m. at the Cabarrus County Cooperative Extension Office. Participants will prepare fresh packed bread and butter pickles and process them in a boiling water bath canner. Cost is only $10 a person, but pre-registration is required. So for more information or to register for the home pickling class, July 1st, Cabarrus County Cooperative Extension Office, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3310. Celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing at the Concord branch of the library on Friday, June 14th. Visit the library anytime that day to write your favorite book on a flag and place it on the moon. Hmm. For more information on the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing celebration, June 14th, Concord Branch, visit cabarruscounty.us slash events or call 704-920-2050. I mean, I vividly remember that. I can't believe it's been 50 years. Now, let's get muddy at the Creek Stomp on Saturday, June the 22nd, 10 to 11 a.m. at Vietnam Veterans Park. This nature-filled event explores the world below the surface using nets, looking under rocks, and looking at what we find close up using magnifiers. There you go. And all ages are welcome to uncover the world that lies beneath. Now, you want to wear old clothes. I did this one time, so don't make that mistake. You make sure you have old clothes and old shoes but let the stomping begin. <laughs> now, for more information on the Creek Stomp, June 22nd, 10 to 11 a.m., Vietnam Veterans Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Enjoy live music at Village Park in Kannapolis this summer. Next on stage is Too Much Sylvia, Saturday, June 15th, 7 to 10 p.m. Each concert is a free event for the community. No tickets are needed. For more information on Concert in the Park with Too Much Sylvia, June 15th, 7 to 10 p.m., Village Park in Kannapolis, visit kannapolisnc.gov or call 704-920-4300. Now, Reed Goldmine welcomes a traveling exhibition of the history of barbecue in North Carolina. This I have got to see. Now, the exhibit showcases the history of barbecue with history panels, artifacts, I guess old barbecue, no, and hands-on activities through June the 15th. So after learning about North Carolina barbecue, why don't you give panning a try? You might strike it rich. Golden barbecue. That's an awesome combination. So for more information on the history of barbecue in North Carolina, traveling exhibit at the Reed Gold Mine, visit Reed Gold Mine on Facebook, or you can just call them at 704-721-4653. Listen to award-winning storyteller Donna Washington during Stories Under the Stars on Saturday, June 22nd, 7 to 8 p.m. on the patio of the Kannapolis branch of the library. Washington will have you spellbound with her folklore and personal narratives. For more information on Stories Under the Stars with Donna Washington, June 22nd, 7 to 8 p.m. Kannapolis branch of the library patio, Visit cabarruscounty.us slash events or call 704-920-1180. Now the Piedmont Choral Society presents its annual All Patriotic Music. Oh, this is, this is great. And benefit concert that's going to happen on June the 20th and the 21st, 7 to 8 p.m. And on June 23rd at 3 p.m. at Forest Hill United Methodist Church. Familiar patriotic songs that include lots of audience participation will fill the air as we honor all the active and veteran military personnel and their families. So for more information on the Piedmont Choral Society concert, like them on Facebook at Piedmont Choral Society or you can just call them at 704-699-6053. Are you curious about how the city of Concord works? Want a behind the scenes look at everything from the police department to economic development to the wastewater treatment plant? Want to understand how the city budget works? Concord 101 gives residents a behind the scenes look at how your local city government works. This special 14 week program begins August 20th and culminates with a graduation mm. ceremony in November. The program is held on Tuesdays, 6.15 to 8.30 p.m. For more information or to register for Concord 101, visit concordnc.gov or call 704-920-5210. Now, the town of Mount Pleasant celebrates Independence Day with a parade and a party. And that all happens on Saturday, June the 22nd. The parade begins at 5.30 p.m. with the party following and the fireworks at 10 p.m. 
There's something for the whole family to enjoy during America's birthday. You've got bounce houses, face painting, photo booth, character drawings, oh there you go, and a cruise in, and a whole lot more. Now, also note that the Mount Pleasant branch of the library, well they're going to close early at 4.30 to allow for the road closures for the parade. So for more information on Mount Pleasant Independence Day Parade and Celebration, June the 22nd, 5.30 p.m., visit mountpleasantnc.org or call 704-436-9803. I know I have a lot of information on today's show. Miss any of the contact info, all you got to do is go to cabarriscounty.us slash on CTW and it's right there. Sign up for the county's newsletter by visiting our website, cabarriscounty.us. Type newsletter in the search bar. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County. And if you have family or friends that don't have spectrum cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or you just want to watch us when you get a chance, just go to cabarriscounty.us slash TV. And you can watch our shows on demand, or you can stream the channel live 24-7. I tell you, this is a, it's really, they have such great exhibits here at the galleries. But this one is really interesting because, you know, with all the paper, there's, I didn't know there were so many things you could do with paper. Yeah, and some of the work is so beautiful oh. and colorful, and other stuff is introspective, and it's very neat to see. So you got to check it out. And until next time, you have a great one. Take care.